guys, welcome back. It's Kelly from The Soaping Soprano again, and today we are making black raspberry and vanilla soap. I have, I used this fragrance from Nurture's Garden. It is super yummy, super strong, and let's get started. So I have my melted oils and my lye water solution ready to go, so first thing to do is to mix them up. Now I'm going to split the colors off. I have this main one will be white, but I'll also have two other colors. I'll have a kind of reddish and a black. The red is colored with a um, red clay and the black is with activated charcoal. I'm using titanium dioxide for the white. Okay, so I've got my colors mixed and I went ahead and put the fragrance into it as well. And I'll be pouring into my big five pound mold today. So let me get a little bit of the white in to start it off. And then we're going to do a drop swirl with some of the other colors. So let me see what we can do with this. Just a little bit. So I want this one to go more or less down the middle. Same thing with the red. I'm going to put the red down one side. And it's not going to be nearly as much of it left as the white, but that's okay. side with the black. So now we're ready to do a little bit of a swirl. Woo! Swirls are fun. So I'm just taking a toothpick and in this little top part Going back and forth. And then I'm going to come back and do a little bit more fun down the middle to further mix it. Alright, there we go. And now we're going to clean up my big mess because apparently I do not know how to make soap without making a huge mess. That's my specialty some days. Today happens to be one of those days. It's everywhere. Right, so now I'm going to take my 91% rubbing alcohol and just spritz the top so that it doesn't get soda ash. And then we'll let it sit for a couple days and then we'll come back and cut it. See you then! Okay, so it's been a few days and everything is unmolded and now I am ready to cut. So I got a little bit of soda ash. We'll just leave it. I don't gen generally mind. So I've got it all lined up on my cutter and now we're going to see what the swirls inside look like. Let's get one from the middle. Ooh. I got some extra swirlies in this batch and a little clump of clay too. Oops. Guess that one's my bar.
will be a part of my December 1st restock. There are a few still left in my store now, so if you want one right now, you can get it. But after those are gone, it will be it until uh, December 1st. I think there's about five or six, something like that. This is a super popular one at the markets I go to as well, so I may or may not have them for very long. So that's up for today. See you later. Bye.